Welcome to Mainz Hauptbahnhof, located in the city of Mainz in the German state of Rhineland Palatinate. The original station in Mainz dates back to 1859, although this current station was opened in 1884 and designed by Philipp Johann Berdelet as part of city expansion plans. Today, over 60,000 commuters and tourists pass through this station daily, making it by far the busiest station in the region. There's a missing route map over there. Let's fix it while you're here. tasks to discover. Be sure to apply route maps, restock first aid points, put up tourist posters and set the cuckoo clocks. Wait on the platform, your train will arrive shortly. train has arrived. Let's climb aboard. Take a seat. The train will be departing shortly. The West Rhine Railway dates back to the earliest days of rail transport in Germany, with the first section opening in 1844. It reached Mainz in 1859 and the line was electrified a hundred years later in 1959. The Moiseturm, or mouse tower, found on this route has origins dating back to the Roman age, although it gained its legend and nickname after the restoration in the 10th century by the Archbishop Hato II. It has served many different functions through the centuries, such as signal tower, toll collection, and a customs collection tower. The route to Koblenz is approximately 85 kilometers through the scenic and meandering Rhine Gorge, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This train is powered by a DB BR103.1 electric locomotive. It's capable of speeds of up to 265 kilometers per hour and is one of the most powerful electric locomotives ever built. On this route, you'll learn to operate this locomotive, the DBBR110, and the Enwagens cab car as you ferry commuters, tourists, and freight past the picturesque castles and vineyards on the bank of the Rhine. This is Trains in World, Link Rheinstrecker, Mainz to Koblenz. In this training module, you'll be learning how to drive this BR103.1 electric locomotive. When you're ready to begin, run the board. Sit in the driver's seat. For this introduction, you'll be driving the train a short distance and performing passenger operations. 
This locomotive requires the reverser handle to be inserted before operation. Set the reverser to the neutral setting while we take over this cow. Set the headlights to indicate that this train is operational. Unlock the brakes with the brake key to allow braking to be controlled from this cab. This locomotive has two types of brakes. You'll be using the driver's brake, which controls brakes on the entire formation. If you were running as a light locomotive, you would use the direct brake, which is quicker to apply, but only performs braking on the locomotive. Open the passenger doors to allow boarding. Close the doors before departure. The reverser controls the direction of travel. Now we're ready to depart, set it to the forward position. For faster acceleration, the transformer switch can be used. This supplies the traction motors with an additional 100 volts each, increasing power output. To avoid damage to the locomotive, it should not be used for more than two minutes or on trains with more than eight coaches. If too much power is applied, the MCB may trip. If this happens, set the tap changer to zero and close the MCB to recover the locomotive. Release the brakes and depart the station. The large wheel in the centre of the desk is the tap changer, which controls power delivery in the locomotive. Set the tap changer to the power index you need and the traction motors will gradually apply the set power. The currently selected tap is shown on the dashboard. City services were first class only. Second class carriages were added later in 1979 and resulted in a large increase in popularity and demand. The addition of second class coaches increased the weight of the trains to over 600 tons on already challenging routes. The BR103.1 proved capable though as its power output of 7,440 kilowatts, 9,980 horsepower, makes it one of the most powerful electric locomotives ever produced. Four prototype and 145 production BR103s were produced and until 1987 it had a near monopoly on fast passenger services with speeds above 160 km per hour in Germany. It was not uncommon for individual locomotives to cover in excess of a thousand kilometers a day. In 1985, a BR-103 set a new speed record for a German train, reaching 283 kilometers per hour. That's 176 miles per hour.
approaching the station, begin applying a small amount of braking force using the driver's brake valve to bring the train to a gentle stop. In this training module, you'll be learning how to drive this BR110 locomotive. Built between 1956 and 1969, and originally classified as E10, the BR110 is a multi-purpose locomotive used primarily for local and regional services. When you're ready to begin, climb aboard. Sit in the driver's seat. For this introduction, you'll be driving the train a short distance and performing passenger operations. This locomotive requires the reverser handle to be inserted before operation. Set the reverser to the neutral setting while we take over this cab. Set the headlights to indicate that this train is operational. Unlock the brakes with the brake key to allow braking to be controlled from this cab. This locomotive has two types of brakes. You'll be using the driver's brake, which controls brakes on the entire formation. If you were running as a light locomotive, you would use the direct brake, which is quicker to apply, but only performs braking on the locomotive. Open the passenger doors to allow boarding. Close the doors before departure. The reverser controls the direction of travel. Now we're ready to depart, set it to the forward position. Release the brakes and depart the station. The large wheel in the center of the desk is the tap changer, which controls power delivery in the locomotive. Set the tap changer to the power index you need and the traction motors will gradually apply the set power. The currently selected tap is shown on the dashboard. Before we can start braking, the tap changer needs to be set back to zero. If you do not, braking will cause a traction lockout. The BR110 belongs to the Einheitselektrolokomotiven, or 
and standardized electric locomotives program. Unlike more modern German locomotives, the BR110 features scissor double arm pantographs. The five prototype Class E10 locomotives were taken out of service in the late 70s. Of these, two were preserved as museum locomotives. Nice job, the train has safely come to a stop. You can now use the door control to open the passenger doors. Close the doors before departure. Proceed to the next stop unguided and see how you get on. Good work. That concludes all the basics of operating this train. In this training module, you'll be learning how to operate the Karlsruher Kopf BNRDZF463 N-Wagen control car. This formation is powered by a BR110 locomotive at the rear of the train, which has already been set up for you. For a long time, the N-Wagens were the most common vehicle in local German rail transport. More recently, BR110 locomotives have been retrofitted with shuttle train controls, allowing for N-Wagen push-pull formations. Firstly, you'll need to insert the reverser handle. 
The reverser determines the direction of travel. While you set up the cab, set the reverser to the neutral position. Unlock the brakes with the brake key to allow braking to be controlled from this cab. Set the headlights to indicate that this train is operational. Open the passenger doors to allow boarding. Close the doors before departure. The train is now ready to depart. Set the reverser to the forward position. Release the brakes. The throttle in this cab is a sprung ratcheted control. Pushing the lever forward to the run up position will increase the selected tap in the locomotive and increase power. The hold position will maintain power at the current level. Pulling the lever towards you to the run down position will decrease the selected tap. Pulling the lever towards you to the off position runs down the tap to zero and will allow coasting. The throttle will be held in this position. As you cannot see the selected tap in this cab, you'll need to keep a close eye on the ammeter to ensure that you do not overload the traction motors. For this introduction, you'll be driving the train a short distance and performing passenger operations. Now, apply some power using the throttle. Pull the throttle all the way towards you to run down the locomotive to zero taps. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements. Built between 1959 and 1980, there have been differing designs of this control car over the decades. For a long time, the N-Wagons were the most common vehicle in local German rail transport. More recently, BR110 locomotives have been retrofitted with shuttle train controls, allowing for N-Wagon push-pull formations. Control cars like this one allow a locomotive to be operated remotely from the other end of the formation, preventing the need for runarounds or additional locomotives. approaching the station. Begin applying a small amount of brake force using the driver's brake valve to bring the train to a gentle stop. Nice job. The train has safely come to a stop. You can now use the door control to open the passenger doors. Lock the doors and drive to the next stop unguided. Proceed to the next stop unguided and see how you get on.
Good work. That concludes all the basics of operating this train.